Hi, this is Ryan Oakley, and this is the free online course, Create a Gorgeous Website with Squarespace, a step-by-step -step guide for beginners. This is video 12, and in this video, we're going to be talking about search engine optimization. Okay, let's talk about SEO, which is search engine, engine optimization. Um, obviously, you've got a new website, you want people to find it. And depending on what your website's all about, it might be easy for, for people to find or hard for people to find. Uh, for people looking for my site, they're going to probably go into Google and type in Humans of Nelson, BC, and they're going to find my site because there's nobody else doing the Humans of Nelson, BC. Um, so I don't care so much about making sure I rank high for certain keywords. Maybe your, your website's different. Um, but there are a couple things I do want to pay attention to that have to do with uh, SEO type stuff. So one of the first is if somebody does Google humans of Nelson and my page or my site pops up, I want to make sure I have control over what the description of the site says. If I don't, if I leave it to chance, Google just tries to figure this out. Sometimes it's the first text that shows up on your page um, and, 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 and we want to make sure that we are in control of it. So I'm going to have with more than 7,000 loyal fans, the Humans of Nelson Project is a beautiful collection of portraits in Nelson, BC. That's a good description. So I'm going to just copy and paste, paste that into my site. Where we enter this information in is under settings, under basic information, uh, we've got a site description. And that's where you can copy this in with more than 7,000 loyal fans. So it, it copied in the bolding. I'm going to get rid of the bolding and just by using this um, uh, remove format button. So that's all that that is. And that's um, just perfect and great. So that'll save. The other place that it shows up is under <clears throat> if somebody types in the humans of Nelson BC.ca website they're going to get an image and they're going to get a title as well as that same um, um, description. So that description is used in multiple places. So that thing's really important. The welcome here is probably just because it says welcome on the home page. So let's go over to our home page real quick under pages and we can go click on settings here and within each page there's a whole bunch of different options you can do descriptions within the page um, and right now it says home and home so page title we might actually change this to welcome I think I did that on my other site just so instead of it saying home in Facebook it says welcome which is a little bit more pleasing um, but there's a lot that you can do with with SEO search engine optimization stuff I'm not going to get into it right right here but just know that um, Squarespace does have some great help sections on on SEO so if you think it's something that you need to do heavily on your site I would suggest you to spend a, a few minutes looking at some of their videos and and adding in what you think you need um, but really the site description is the most important thing for me so that's what I've um, that's what I've done all right so that's the that's the only thing I really wanted to show you as far as SEO goes but now might be a good time just to let you know that there there are a lot of other things you can do with your site um, uh, there's uh, metrics, which is uh, looking at your traffic and stuff. It's got some built-in um, built-in traffic counters and all of that stuff, which is pretty fancy. Um, you don't really need it until your site's live and and uh, people have people have come to it. But it's good to track over time. Uh, comments is for uh, if you run a blog on your site, which is something that Squarespace does quite easily. I just don't happen to need a blog on my Humans and Nelson site. And let's go have a look at some settings. So basic information we went into a little bit. Um, you can change your language and region. So right now it defaults to, it looks like, um, kind of like New York. But I am actually in closer to Vancouver for me. So let's go find that. Oh, I just used the map. And... Bring it down to, yeah, so it's got it on Vancouver now, which is my time zone and close enough for me. So we'll save that and go back to settings. There's another place we want to put in the, um, the site description, and that's in, under um, the SEO section here. It's got a search engine description, and we can do copy and paste in that same line that we used before. And that looks great, so we'll save that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this video, and in the next video we're going to talk about um, getting your domain name set up.